Hello students, welcome back to this chapter light. In the previous classes, we were talking about reflection of light, multiple image formation of light and also sunlight and white light and how white light is composed of seven different colors. Today, we are going to learn about something a bit simpler but most vital in the understanding of light. Our eyes of course, without our eyes, we will not be able to see anything around us. Our eyes are the most important organs in our body. We are able to see objects around us when some light falls on that object and reflects back into our eyes. Our eyes do a very fantastic job of making us see the things around us. Let us see the structure of the eye and the several functions each of the parts of the eye serve. Let us try to understand the structure of eye and its working. The eye is roughly spherical in shape. The human eye consists of mainly seven parts, cornea, iris, pupil, lens, retina, nerve cells and the optic nerve. Look at the diagram. The cornea is a transparent part. The iris lies behind the cornea and it is a dark muscular structure. The iris part of the eye gives its distinct color. Say some of us have green eyes, some of us have blue eyes, some of us have brown or black eyes. This is due to the iris. Pupil. The small opening in the iris is called pupil. The size of the pupil is controlled by the iris. Lens. It is situated behind the pupil which is thicker in the center. Retina. The lens focuses light onto the back of the eye onto a layer called retina. The retina contains several nerve cells. Nerve cells. There are two types of nerve cells present in the eye. Cones and rods. The cones are sensitive to bright light and cones sense color. The rods are sensitive to dim light. Optic nerve. Sensations felt by the nerve cells are transmitted to the brain through the optic nerve. The junction of the optic nerve and the retina where there are no sensory cells and no vision is possible is called the blind spot. Can you locate the blind spot in the figure? So we saw that the pupil is a small opening in the eye and the opening size, the size of the pupil is controlled by the iris. Now what, what do you mean by controlling the size of the pupil? Well, when we are in a very bright room, then our eyes do not need a large amount of light to see the things around us because there is already sufficient light. So the pupil contracts to a smaller size. When we are in a darker room, the available light is much lesser. So the pupil has to open larger in size to accommodate more light into it. So this is how the pupil size changes according to different circumstances. Activity. The size regulation of pupil in fact takes about a second. You can see and even feel it yourselves through two activities. Let's see how. Try lighting a dim torch into your friend's eyes. If you observe closely, you can see the sudden contraction of the pupil to shut out excess light. When you switch the torch off, the pupil enlarges or dilates back again. Stay some time in a bright light as suppose in the sun and come to a dimly lit room. Do you feel blind for about a second? This happens because the pupil dilates so as to receive more light to see in the dimly lit room. This process takes about a second. We also saw that there is a blind spot in our eye where no optical nerves are present and no vision is possible. Is that true? Is there any way to know whether we have a blind spot in our eye? Let us see this activity. Activity. Make a round mark and a plus sign separated by a distance of 6 to 8 centimeter on a sheet of paper. Hold the sheet of paper at an arm's length from the eye. Close your left eye. Look continuously at the plus sign. Now move the sheet slowly towards you, keeping your eye on the plus sign. Does the round mark disappear at some point? Now close your right eye. 
Look at the round mark now and repeat the activity. Does the cross disappear now? A really nice activity, right? It seems almost like magic because the plus sign or the round mark, both of them disappeared at some point. This disappearance of the plus sign or the round mark shows that there is a point in our retina which does not sense that part of light. So this is actually the blind spot. Now, you must have noticed that the animals and birds have eyes which are slightly different from our eyes, right? So different kinds of eyes serve different kinds of purposes. Let us see certain different kinds of eyes in animals and birds and see the purpose they serve. Crabs. Crabs have eyes that are quite small, but they enable the crab to look all around. Butterfly. Butterflies have large eyes that seem to be made up of thousands of little eyes. They can see all around. Night birds, owls, cats, etc. have eyes that have a large cornea and a large pupil to allow more light inside. In their retina, a large number of rods are present and only a few cones are present. They can see very well at night, but not so well in the day. If it is so, can you write the features of eyes of day birds like eagles? That was a whole new information regarding eyes, right? Now let us see a few more details about eyes and how our eyes see different things. For example, all of you have seen movies, right? You are even seeing this video. A video or a movie are like moving pictures, right? Let us see how we see movies or videos. We see movies and videos as moving pictures. This is because the impression of an image does not vanish immediately from the retina. It persists there for about 1 by 16th of a second. So what will happen if more than 16 still images of a moving object are shown per second? Then the eye will perceive this object as moving. So this is the technique behind movies and videos. The separate pictures in a movie or frames as we call it are made to move across the eye usually at a rate of 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. We even have videos which are up to 60 frames per second. So this is how we see a moving picture. Now let us try to make a movie of our own. Let us see this activity. Materials required. A square cardboard of 6 cm or 8 cm side, thread of sufficient length, picture of a cage on a sheet, picture of a bird on a sheet, gum or glue. Step 1. Get a square piece of cardboard of size 6 cm or 8 cm. Make two holes in the cardboard as shown in the figure. Thread a string through the two holes. Draw or paste a cage on one side of the cardboard and a bird on the other side. Twist the string and make the card twirl rapidly. Do you see the bird inside the cage? Again, this activity felt like magic, right? Flipbook animations also follow the same technique that we just performed here. You know what flipbooks are, right? Flipbooks are books that when we flip the pages through the books, we see the pictures inside the book as moving. In other words, each picture or each page inside the book will be a frame. And when we move them or flip the pages of the book, we see the frames as moving just like we see a video or a movie. Now, a few more points regarding our eye. Nature has provided eyes with eyelids to prevent any object from entering the eye and to shut out light when it is not required. Our eye can clearly see distant objects as well as objects nearby. The most comfortable distance at which one can read with a normal eye is about 25 cm. The minimum distance at which the eye can see objects distinctly varies with age. Ok, till now we saw the features of human eyes which are healthy. Now due to some reasons or the other, our eyes can develop certain defects or problems. Let us see these problems and how to rectify them. Sometimes, particularly in old age, 
when the eye lens becomes cloudy, the eyesight becomes foggy. It causes loss of vision, sometimes extremely severe. This problem is called cataract. Cataract can be treated by removing the opaque lens and inserting a new artificial lens. Some people can see objects close to them clearly, but cannot see distant objects so clearly, which is called short sight while some persons cannot see objects close by clearly, but they can see distant objects quite well. This is called long sight. These defects of the eye, short sight and long sight, can be corrected with suitable corrective lenses. Summary Important parts of the eye are cornea, iris, pupil, lens, retina and optic nerve. A normal eye can see nearby and distant objects clearly. An image persists in the retina for about 1 by 16th of a second. The eye problems in old age when the eye lens becomes cloudy, eyesight becomes foggy is known as cataract. Some defects of the eyes such as short sight and long sight can be corrected with suitable lenses or spectacles. So students, I am sure today's lesson was certainly an eye opener for all of you. In the next class, that is the final lesson of the chapter light, we will learn more about certain problems that can affect our eyes and also we will conclude this whole chapter. See you in the next class. Until then, have a good day. Bye.